Welcome back to the series of videos on presenting our learning in CoSpaces EDU. This week we're going to be learning how to insert a video into CoSpaces and actually make it play. We're also going to lock things to make it easy when we're creating and adjust the camera functions. First of all, let's have a look at how to add a video. So we upload it just as we did with an image. We wait for it to upload and then we attach it to a wall and resize. Let's have a look at CoSpaces and do it together. So I've opened up classes, here's my assignment, click on it, click on upload, upload again, and then find the video on your computer or on your tablet, click open, wait for it to upload, once it's there, we drag it out, attach it by clicking A, attach it to the wall and resize it. That bit should all be very familiar because it's exactly what we did with images. The next part is slightly different. We're going to double click on the video, open in settings, and where it says video, we're going to turn off autoplay. Then we're going to, using Coblox, open up Coblox, insert blocks from actions and events, and then give some instructions. So let's go through that. Double click on the video. In settings, turn off autoplay. And if you've got more than one video, make sure you've selected the correct video. Next, where it says code, turn on using code blocks. Now go over to code in the top right hand corner, start a new code block script, and in here we've got actions and events. The first one we want is actions. We're going to choose when. And if it doesn't say the video, click on the drop down and you'll be able to choose your video. Next, we go to actions, scroll down to video, play video, wait until finished is true, and that's it. Now that will work, but our audience won't know what to do when they see that picture. They'll just think it's a picture. So let's give them some instructions by taking out a text box, attaching it to the wall, and telling them that they have to click on it to see our video play. Now to find out if it works, let's click on play and click on the video. Hi, welcome to the gallery. I hope you're enjoying these pieces of art. They're incredible. Look at that one over there. And what about that one over there? And if you go around the corner, there's even something more amazing. Happy exploring. So to add a video, you're going to make a video recording. I did mine on the phone. Upload the recording, attach the recording to a wall, turn off autoplay. I made a typo here. Turn on using Coblox, and in Coblox, make a new script, add an event when clicked, add a video block, play the video, test it, that's super important, and then add some instructions for your audience. And hey, presto, you've got a video. Now let's see how we can adjust our experience for our audience. So we're going to find the camera. And if you don't have a camera, you can drag out a new one. Click on the camera, open up the settings, and we can adjust it to walk or fly, and even have you stationary. Now if you can't find your camera, press C, and that will zoom out, and then you should be able to see it, click on it and press V. If you don't, you can drag out a new one from library and special. Once you've got your camera, double click on it, and you get some settings, and you can have walk, fly for example. Let's try fly, you can speed up, collision, if you turn this off, you can walk through walls, and if you've got multiple cameras, you don't need them, but you can set this to be your main camera. You can also adjust the speed. Let's see what happens. Ah, I've gone through the wall because collision was turned off. So that worked. The last tip for today is locking things up. So if you double click on an object, you can lock it. And if you want to unlock it, that's very simple too. You just double click on it again and click unlock. So here, if I've locked it, now when I click on it, it doesn't move. If you've got lots and lots of objects, this is really useful. You can lock anything. You could lock a picture or a text box or a wall or a person. Have a go. Right, here's your to-do list. I would like you to lock up any stationary objects, things that you aren't going to move. Then add a camera, just to practice, and switch the movement mode, change the speed, and turn collision on and off and have a go at moving around. 